Hello children. Welcome back to the mathematics session. Today we will have revision for the first term examination. Okay. Okay. Our first unit is geometry. Right. In geometry what we have learned? We have learned the basic shapes. What are the four basic shapes? Square, rectangle, triangle, circle. Square, rectangle, triangle, circle. Right? Square has four sides. Right? Four sides. And all four sides will be equal. It has four corners. One, two, three, four. Four corners. And two diagonals. Two diagonals which is joining line. Okay? Two diagonals. And two diagonals will be equal. Right? And rectangle, it also have four sides. Okay? Two opposite sides are equal. These two sides are equal and these two sides are equal. It also have four corners. One, two, three, four, four corners. And it has two diagonals. Now, two diagonals will be equal. Next, triangle. Triangle have three sides and three corners. Three sides and three corners. Next, circle. Circle has no sides. It has no corners also. But it has a center point. It will have a center point. Next, we will we'll see 3D shapes now. See 3D shapes. What are the 3D shapes? Three dimensional shapes. 3D shapes means three dimensional shapes. The first one is cuboid, cube, cylinder, sphere, pyramid, cone. Cuboid, cube, cylinder, sphere, pyramid, cone. Okay. Okay. With that, we have finished first lesson. Now, unit two that is numbers. Unit two that is numbers. Which is a very big lesson. And we have finished in the midterm. But uh, since our term exam, first term exam is coming, I am repeating that again. Okay. See, first thing, they have given the number names and we have to write the number. See, 535. 535. Five. This is the way you have to write. Already you have written in the midterm exam. Okay, 107, 107. Okay, this is the way you have to fill it. The next thing, they will give the numerals, means numbers and you have to write the number name. Okay, 150, 150, 907, 907. Okay, this is the way you have to write. Okay, next thing, see here. You have to mention the place value. Okay. See 296. So here the underlined word is 9. Underlined word is 9. Okay. So in which place 9 is? 9 is 10's place. Right. First one is 100's, 10's, 1's. 100's, 10's, 1's. Okay, so 9 is in tens. 90, number name is 90. This is 200. This is 6. This is 200. This is 90. This is 6. So 296. Okay, see here 296. Underline word is, I mean underline number is 6. 6 is in ones place. Ones place. 6. Now here 2. 2 is 100, 200. See here, 9. 9 again, it is 10s, 90. 4, 400, 100, 400. 8, 1, so 8. 9, 100, 900. Okay, like this you have to write. Next, expanded forms. You have to expand. Okay, see, 2, 4, 6, 246. So, 200. Plus 40, this is 40 is in tens place, 2 is in hundreds place, so 200, 40 tens place, 40, 6, 1's place, okay. See next one, 570, 500 means 
Okay, like this you have to. Now, expanded form to simplified form. I will give the expanded form 300 plus 90 plus 8. So, 398, 398. 200 plus 50 plus 6, 256, 256. Like this you have to write. Okay, children. Next, it is circle the even numbers, circle the odd numbers. See here, even numbers means... 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8 are even numbers. Odd numbers means 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Okay. Whatever you have to see the last digit only. Once place only you have to see and you have to tell it whether it is even number or odd number. 8. It is even. 9. Odd. Right. 0. Even. 4. Even, 9, odd. Okay, see here, 7, 7 is odd number, 6, it is even number, 3, 3 is odd number, 1, odd number, 4, even number. Okay, like this you have to write. Next, greater than, less than, is equal to, greater than, less than, is equal to. So, greater than symbol is, what is greater than symbol? This is greater than symbol. This is less than symbol is equals to. Okay. So, 103 is less than 438. 250 is greater than 69. 480 is greater than 308. 710 is equal to 710. So, this is the way you have to fill the boxes. Okay. Next. Ascending and descending order. Ascending means from small number to big number. Descending means from big number to small number. Okay. This is the way you have to mention. Okay. Next. Ordering. Ordering means three digit numbers will be given. Ordering means. See here. Numbers will be given like this. 7, 4, 8 and you have to combine the words, I mean combine the numbers and you have to form a greater 3 digit number and smaller 3 digit number. Okay, like this. See 748, with 748, 444, 478, 487, 748, 777, 784, 847, 874 and 888. Like this you have to uh, form the 3 digit numbers and you have to mention the smallest number and the largest number that is greatest number okay this is the way you have to write next addition addition without regrouping okay means without carrying okay see here 342 plus 515 plus 12 like this you have to draw the box first okay See, this is the uh, sum given. You have to draw the box and you have to mention hundreds, tens, ones. And then you have to add first ones. See, 5 plus 2 plus 2, 9. Then you have to add tens. 4 plus 1 plus 1, 6. Then hundreds, 3 plus 5. That is 869 like this. Okay. Next. Next is carrying over. Okay. See, 556 plus 194. So, 556, 194. Okay. 6 plus 4, 10. So, 0 here and 10 on the tens place. Okay. Now, 1 plus 5 plus 9. 1 plus 9, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. So, again 5 here and 1 on the hundreds place. Next. 1 plus 5 plus 1 plus, I mean 1 plus 5 plus 1. 1 plus 5 plus 1. 1 plus 5, 6. 6 plus 1, 7. So, answer is 750. Like this you have to write. Next, subtraction. Subtraction means you have to minus. Okay, here they, have, they ask, subtract 344 from 845. 845 minus 344. Okay, so... 
345 minus 4 we have to take away 4 from 5 so you will get 1 next 4 minus 4 nothing so 0 8 minus 3 3 we have to take away from 8 so it is 5 508 okay and next see here 213 from 735 so 735 minus 213 write it as ones i mean hundreds tens ones okay now first ones place 5 minus 3 5 minus 3 2 next tens place 3 minus 1 2 next 7 minus 2 5 so answer is 522 okay this is the way you have to subtract the next one see it is one sum will be given you have to see from that sum and then frame the questions i mean frame the answer sentence in the answers and you have to do whether it is addition or subtraction see here 452 mangoes are grown in farm a and 349 in farm b so 452 mangoes in farm a and 349 in farm b find the total number of mangoes grown, grown in both farms so total number they asked so you have to add both so mangoes in farm a 452 mangoes in farm b 349 now total number 452 plus 349 9 plus 2 11 1 here 1 above 5 plus 4 plus 1 10 0 here 1 1 in the hundreds place carry on 4 plus 3 plus 1 4 plus 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 3 8 so answer is 801 mangoes so total number of mangoes 801 okay like this you have to frame the sentences from the questions and then answer whether it is addition or subtraction okay next one estimation estimation is like you have to find out the uh, difference okay difference or the sum okay of the given numbers by rounding off to nearest tens and hundreds okay anything see 24 means estimation it will come to 20 27 30 i have explained you right how it will come if it is 17 it goes to 20 if it is 12 it goes to 10 like that okay so in this way you have to write the estimated answer and actual answer also so actual answer means 24 plus 27 that is the actual answer estimated means you are rounding off to nearest tens and hundreds okay nearest tens 24 20 27 is 30 okay like this the same way subtraction also okay you have to do the estimated sum as well as actual sum also okay next with this we have finished lesson number two now lesson number three that is patterns very easy patterns okay see here two types of patterns will be there growing patterns growing means if the designs or patterns increase or grow on grow with straight lines and geometrical forms see they will increase or grow up okay that is called growing okay next repeated repeated means the same thing will the same design or pattern will repeat see until here it is one pattern again this full pattern will repeat see here repeat so if some patterns and designs repeat with straight lines and geometrical shapes they are called repeated patterns okay the next thing is symmetry symmetry means one shape becomes exactly like another when you move it in the in the some way turn flip or slide if you turn it or flip it or slide it the shape should be same see here one half is same like other half for C, see if we cut into half, one half is same like other half. B, same. Okay, this is called symmetry. Exactly half. Okay, exactly. Everything should be same. Okay, the next one is 
line of symmetry line of symmetry means the line which divides it into two halves that is called this line okay which is cutting like this this line is called line of symmetry okay this is third lesson very easy so concentrate on all the lessons in the next class i will explain you the next three lessons okay children i hope you all are reading nicely in the house okay practice well maths is very important so practice well for your exam okay children thank you